right here, right? This is what we call a run. Price goes up, makes a run. Price pulls back, uh, and we call this like a correction. So you'll hear this as a pullback, a correction, uh, or a um, uh, uh, retracement. All right. Those are the three terms that you'll hear that, you know, basically means price is just kind of going in the opposite direction of the overall trend. That's what that means. All right. But regardless, we got the run, pullback, run, pullback, run. So what's next, people? Again, you can shout it out if you want to, or you can just type it in the chat. Right. So we got run, pullback, run, pullback. And now we're on the run. What should be next? Can anybody tell me? Um, Nicole, I don't know if you have your hand raised because you, you want to say something or if you just hit it by mistake, but you can always just chime in at any point in time and say what you got to say. All right, guys, don't all answer at one time. Come on, you guys have to be able to give me this, right? This is a run, pull back, run, pull back, run. What's next? Pull back. There we go. All right. So if the pullback is next, right, then we automatically know because of what a uptrend structure looks like, what's going to be next. And if we want to buy, well, guess what? This is where we want to buy from. We want to buy from the pullback, right? Look what happens every time we would have bought from the pullback, right? If we would have bought from this area of the pullback, okay, every single time we bought there, it took off on a run. It pulled back. And then it took off on a run. It pulled back. We're going to buy now. See, this isn't the scenario where we buy. We don't just buy because it's pulling back, right? We're getting ready to buy because it's pulling back. And now we get a, a little bit of bulls to come in like this. And so that's what we're doing. We're really buying right here. All right. I know I, I put the market below the swing, but we're really buying right here, right? And then price go ahead and, and does this run and then continues to make those higher highs and higher lows. So we would have gotten in right on the run, which is, I mean, off, I'm sorry, off the pullback, which will put us in position to take advantage of the run. And then price will pull back higher and then it'll run again. Now, when it does that, we move our stop loss right below that swing low. And then we just rinse and repeat. And this is how the money's made, right? At least in the uptrend. But the downtrend is, is really uh, no different uh, to that. So here. Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Boom, right? So again, we have we have the run, we have the pullback, right? But in this scenario, this is in a downtrend, all right? So we got the run, we got the pullback. We got the run, we got the pullback. We got the run, and we got the pullback. So if we're going to get into a trade, this is exactly where we want to get into it from, from the pullback, and then we're waiting for the bears to show up just a little bit, to create that V, right? We're just waiting for a candle to close so that we can have this, this V shape, this swing point, right? We get in and then we take advantage of the run. And then price is gonna continue making the market structure of a lower high and then another run, right? Lower low, lower high. It's just gonna keep doing that. So we got in right here, right? Price drops on us, does another little V shape, right? Does this pullback, does this run. Now we move our stop loss here. So we locked in all of this money. It's a risk-free trade. It does it again. Run, pull back, right? And we go ahead and uh, move our stop loss here. So now we've locked in all of this profit, which is really all of this profit, right? And, you know, we just rinse and repeat, people. Like, it is, it's, it's pretty simple, um, to be honest with you, right? But you guys got to get those supporting resistance. <laughs>